hello friends and welcome back today i'm going to show you how we can take measurements in 3d studio max so let's get started let's uh, create a plane now as you can see uh, the dimension of the object we can easily check in the uh, in the parameters but once we convert this into a poly object here we cannot see the dimensions now suppose I want to check the distance between this point that is point A and this point is point B. So for that what we can do is we can go to the tools menu inside this we've got an option that is measure distance. So click on the measure distance and then uh, you can click on the first point and you can see one uh, dashed line coming out of this point. So simply move to the point B and click. So the result will be seen in the status bar. Just check the status bar and you can see the uh, distance here. Now suppose we have uh, two objects and we want to check the distance between these two objects. Now in that case we can uh, make use of the, the tape tool in 3ds Max. For that click on the helpers and uh, you have a tape tool the tape tool consists of a head and a tail so now create a tape and like this so here it is showing you the distance that is the the length is 15 feet 3.779 inches now suppose we want the distance to be uh, suppose 5 feet so in that case we can simply put on the option that is specify length and type in 5 feet so the tapes becomes shorter now we can simply move this object and place like this so that way we can uh, check the distance between two objects and the tape tool can also be used to check the distance between any two points let's delete the tape tool now suppose uh, we let's move this object now we'll check the angle between these two objects. Now for that, what we have to do is, uh, let's put on the shade mode so that we can see the objects. Now for that, inside the helper, we have a, a protector tool. So click on the protector and place it wherever we want the vertex. So suppose I want the vertex to be here. So I'll click here and the protector has been placed. Now inside this we are getting option that is object 1 and object 2. So the first option is pick object pick object 1. Click on pick object 1 and hit the first object. You will find that the first ray from the vertex is now connected to the pivot of the object number 1. Now similarly we have to click on the other object. Now the second ray is connected to the another object and here uh, you can see the angle. In case if I move the object something like this, the protector uh, you have to click on the protector icon again and you will find that the angle is now updated. Now there is another way of taking measurements. Let's uh, delete the protector and this object and let's get into the perspective viewport. Maximize the perspective viewport. Now suppose uh, you have this object and we want to check the uh, length in any of the axis. Uh, let's make some modification here first. So I will get into the top viewport and I'll make some changes here. Something like this. And now to check the length in X and Y axis, we can simply select the object and in the command panel we have something called the utilities uh, click on the utility tab and here we have something called measure click on measure and here it is going to show you the dimensions in the x and y axis now let's uh, select this object and add some thickness to this so select these polygons and let's add extrude i'm adding extrude of uh, Five feet so now again we can 
check the dimension of this using the measure tool go to utilities and you can see the dimensions are now updated so these are the ways uh, of checking measurements in 3d studio max i uh, hope you all enjoyed it thank you so much for watching